Even the Assassination Records Review Board had trouble getting documents from government agencies. In late 1992, a month after the Records Act was passed, the Secret Service began its compliance plan. But by January of 1995, it had begun destroying important documents. And they destroyed a group of records which involved threats to President Kennedy in the fall of 1963. They have what they're called threat sheets. And there were many threats made to President Kennedy's life during the year 1963. They fought us on release of those records. They even enlisted Vice President Gore's wife to help them because she had a very legitimate concern for mental health records. And the idea was that this might disclose the names of people who had mental health problems. In the end, when we required agencies to disclose, to swear under oath that they had located all assassination records, had turned everything over to us, the Secret Service refused to sign the document under oath. I think that was telling. The destruction of records is actually referenced in the uh, Assassination Records Review Board final uh, report. A very, um, very disappointing. Uh, they were records that related to trips that President Kennedy had taken uh, in the fall of 1963 prior to him going to Dallas.